Well, just look at that view. How natural. How bright. How not like Cornwall's skanky midnight factory. You can hear the birds. So nice, so nice. Hello everybody and welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 blind playthrough. Um, I just had my birthday. Uh, it was two days ago from when I'm recording this, not necessarily from when I'm uploading it. So yeah, I leveled up. Let's go. We want to go and see Charlotte, I remember. So let's go see Charlotte and whatever else is going on. What was the main mission? We must have had a main mission to do. Stroke the beard I don't have. I can't remember our gold mission. I feel like we must have had one. We had the mayor to speak to, Charlotte to go and speak to. Um, things are pretty tense in camp. Someone broke the money box. Dutch has fallen out with us, which means Javier has fallen out with us. We kicked Strauss out of camp. Good riddance. Um, we saved John. I can't remember. Let's have a look. Oh, it was the mica one. Just a social call. That was it. Um, because they've had a look into Leviticus Cornwall being in Annisburg. Then there's Charlotte up there. And that's the mayor. Oh, of course. I think I forgot to say this at the end of the last episode, but we also have Penelope. Oh, no. It looks like people are fighting over them. Help her and Bo escape. I was going to say, it looks like Bo that they're playing tug of war with. Oh, we need to go and help those darkest lovers, don't we? Okay, I'm going to go and see Charlotte first, as I happen to be in the area. Wait, wanted dead or alive? In this whole place? Oh, I should probably go and pay off my bounty. I guess that's from rescuing John. Maybe. I thought last time they won't bother coming this far because it was all down here. I thought maybe San Denis or the island, but I kind of get now why they're making such a big deal about us rescuing John. Because we're literally camped in an area where they want us all dead. Um, okay, Charlotte, and then if I can, I will try and pay off my bounty on the way down, but I don't want to start that gold mission just yet. Because things are moving very quickly now and I want to do the white missions before they disappear or I mean we've literally gone from like people dying desert island and shipwreck um, just Arthur casually getting tuberculosis so I'm afraid that every time I go to a gold mission it's gonna like massively change everything so I'll mop up those white missions first I think if I can as long as it's not one of those missions where, you know, you walk near it and it suddenly triggers. Hey Arthur, you're looking pretty cool. How's it going? Your gun needs a clean, I can tell. Oh, camp looks so pretty. Can you guys hear that guy? I'm starting to really worry it's just me. Oh, I've run out of my dead eye. <clears throat> oh. Makes me sad that he coughs when he eats. I'm gonna go and find where that voice is coming from if I can. And then if it's still night time, I might get Arthur to sleep. Actually, I might anyway. He needs to rest. He's not very well. Because I'm not convinced it was the preacher. I feel like it's got to be closer than this. Yeah. I can just, whenever I'm in camp, I keep hearing someone yelling, like not one of the camp members. <laughs> Hello? All right. Oh! No! Why are you coming from camp? Oh no, that's the road going up, isn't it? Don't worry, ma'am. 
my gosh. No. <coughs> Hold on, I'm I'm trying. The wagon's having a moment. Are you good? You're okay. You're all okay. They're gone. As fast as you can! Get away from me! No, they're they're gone. I'm here to help. Don't go that way, that's our camp. They won't like you running in there, you could get shot. No, okay, well that's fine. Fine then. God, the Murphy brood are weird. Why can't I cut you free? I can calm you. Whoa now, easy, easy. Easy, it's okay. <laughs> Oh! Bud! Bud, are you okay? Oh, you seem fine. Oh my god, that was like... I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I call him? Will that move him into the way? Bud! I have made mistakes, okay. In hindsight, that wasn't a clever thing to do. Oh, poor baby. Uh. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> okay, that was a solid start to the session. <laughs> hey, boy. I don't think it's the preacher man. He didn't seem that shouty. Whoa, he. Oh, the preacher guy left. Safe travels. Adios. He's back. But you were just disappeared. Where do you come from? I just went past here. All of you! Run! Run from me! Why? This is total madness. I know it is, but I can't stop. No, I, I can't. Ah! You're a troubled man. I'm feeling very abandoned. You know, very ignored. But I, I asked for, for for a message. And he gave me the whole world. But no signal I can understand. All these all these people and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm... Bring it in. I'm awful. <laughs> oh God, I just want to give him a hug. He's been standing in a cold river feeling ignored. His self-esteem's clearly taken a hit. I wonder if every time I see him he's like on a journey and he'll he'll get further and further along until finally he's happy. I can only hope. Okay, I'm not going to watch you sleeping this time. You didn't like it last time. Apparently people aren't into that. Maybe it is the preacher. I don't know. It just didn't sound like him. He has a very distinct kind of voice. And it wasn't that... I look at that moss. That's beautiful. It wasn't that kind of voice. 
It was like a... I don't know. I just don't think it was. Or maybe it's just people going along the roads and it just happens to always sound like the same person. I don't know. I'm not going to waste any more time on this endeavour. I have a widow to go and see. We are going to go and sleep first though because Arthur isn't well. And he needs to rest up and take care of himself. Hey, who's that coming in? It's me. I don't know how many more mornings of this I can take. Hi, Mary Beth. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch going to be all right? Who knows, Mary Beth? Who knows? Hello, Jack. Things are going to be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No. I ain't safe in there. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Okay. I wish people would stop being mean. Me too, Jack. Me too. Hello, Morning, Abigail. Arthur. Okay, Abigail. No place like home, huh? What are we going to do about all this, Arthur? Just hang in there. We'll work something out. I guess. Hey, fellas. Hey, Charles. Morning, Arthur. Miserable around here, ain't it? Sure is. Almost makes me miss the Murphys. Yeah. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right then, Arthur. Hey, Rev. Reverend. Morning to you. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Keep it up. Yes, yeah, sounds up? good, Arthur. All right. Tire He's back. Where have you That's been? Something good at least. Josiah. Hello, old boy. Rest your bones. Well, I'm surprised you're still around. I'm worried about you all. Well, thanks for sticking by us. How far we've we fallen. Oh, I didn't know Trelawney was here. That's the pick me up I needed. Okay, it's daytime, but we are going to have a nap. We're going to rest Arthur up. Can't believe after everything we've been through that Dutch thinks Arthur would betray him and literally since Arthur was twelve, was it? He's been part of this gang. And he's now in his 30s, so that's like somebody sticking by you for, I don't know, 25 years or something? Yeah, about 25 years. I'm at my minimum weight! As in what I'm carrying, or like Arthur is a skinny boy? Anyway, I think you know, it's Dutch needs to have faith. When I was a little boy, some men came to my village. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. They took them into the streets, stripped them naked, castrated them, and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the village was forced to watch. One of those men was my uncle. Another was a friend of my parents. And you know what those men had done? They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local landowner. Not, not that he, not that he share all that he had, just that he give enough that the people might live. Of course, Mexico could be a land of plenty. But the people with the power there? They rather kill than share the smallest little piece. All my life, I think about this. Most people are thieves because they steal the lives and the hopes of others. Hey, Reverend. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. I'll be fine, don't worry about me. I suppose. You think you'll ever go back to Mexico? For now, I can't. You think we're wanted here? I'll be shot on sight if I go back there. Maybe one day. Okay, 
Guess I'll leave you to it then. Okay, Arthur. You okay? What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. For now. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. Whew. This is a heavy atmosphere. Right, Arthur, we've got to put some food in your belly. There I am going on about looking after you, and I'm letting you starve. Look at that. Nice, big, juicy steak of some kind. Need to thicken you up. Okay, so we've slept, we've eaten. Um. Oh, the food and the ammo's low. Hey, Uncle, what are you Howdy doing sitting do, down here? Arthur. <laughs> Hi, Uncle. How you doing with all this? I ain't doing so good. Uh -huh. You betcha. <laughs> Okay. Stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. You know what? I never use the bait, Thank so I can you. have those. And you know what? I don't think I need animal Many fat thanks. either. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Glad we still have this calandria. Le dijo y le juro, me sacas de prisión, me voy contigo yo. Y luego la calandria. Le dijo y le juro, me sacas de prisión, me voy contigo yo. Well, it's kind of sad. Ay Dios, no hay remedio. This would have been the kind of songs that he would have played like around the campfire with everyone sat here like cheering and clapping along. It's like happy dancey song. Y adiós tranquilidad. But now it's just him by himself and empty boxes and chairs and it's like nice to have that normality again but also really sad because that one always puts a smile on my face hey this would have been like sean and hosea and pearson and dutch and mary beth but it's just javier now Okay, is this where the box would have been? No, I don't know what this is. It's normally around Dutch's tent, isn't it? So, Which is always closed to these days. It used to always have them open and now every time I look it's closed. Oh, here! It's probably broken. Where's the, where's the ledger? Oh yeah, I think they've properly taken the money. So someone's taken the money out of the box as well. There's no ledger, so how am I supposed to upgrade all the ammunition? What's that about? Oh, come on guys. Who did this? That's just childish. I'm going to go and wander into the case. I know the bodies are gone, but I never got to properly look around. Oh no! Oh, that's terrible! That river I was running around in, it's where the latrine goes into. Ugh. No wonder Arthur got sick when I'm pulling stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a rock. Please tell me that's a rock. Oh no, no, that's, no. Why would they add that in here? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I actually thought there was going to be nothing going on in this cave. Chest? Does it have anything in it though? 
No. No. Okay, empty caves, nothing going on. What I love about this game, no loading screens. Just one environment to another. I'm not sure what to do about um the ammo then. Oh, the camp funds are still showing, so I don't know, maybe I don't know. What does that mean? There's no ledger. Can't take or put money into the box. Anyway. Taking this one in. Stay out of our way. They called you a woman killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? I'm a good man. Who is this guy? And why is he always everywhere? I want to almost like save him because he just seems like a whole thing. That's like, I don't know, like the fourth time I've come across Petey's brother. Yeah. But also. I don't want to interfere with the law. And last time I tried to break someone out of being captured, it, it didn't end well for me. Have I checked this one out before? Okay, they're growing some nice cabbages. Oh. I guess someone's home because the fire's going. Or someone's been home recently. Oh, I like that. Clever with the ladder, get some extra storage space going on. It's nice to walk into someone's home and uh, not see a skeleton on the floor. Those are pretty jars. Wow. Oh, nice candle. Okay, well, I am not going to rob somebody who is in here. I always do that with doors. I try. Easy, easy. Is she hunting? <gasps> she practicing. Good job. I'm proud of you. There. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. 
Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. What can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Aww. I mean, I'm always where the food is, so... Thank you very much. I'll try and shut the door, but you know how these things go. Oh, it shut itself. Clever door. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Thank you. What a lovely home you have. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <coughs> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing then we came out here and i got crushed by this you know i pictured myself picking fresh vegetables sipping homemade wine writing a great novel but i turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any i could ever pen oh well <clears throat> i reckon you're gonna be just fine <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Don't get her sick, too. Yeah, thank you for this. I think it's, it's best if I... If I make... <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. Don't breathe in my germs. They're bad. Oh, she looked after me. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but... 
nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. <laughs> Loot jewelry box. Um, I'm torn between, because I don't really need the money. This doesn't sound like she does either. But then also that could have some things for trinkets and stuff. I will go on then. Oh! <laughs> it was all a ruse, there's nothing there. Oh wait, did she say in the nightstand? Did she say that box? Have I been tricked? Oh, never mind. Oh no, Arthur passed out. Why did he pass out? Is this going to keep happening? Thank you for looking after me, Charlotte. I'm sure the stew was lovely. Okay. Such a beautiful place. Hello, Mr. Charlotte. I hope you're resting well. Thank you for the dinner. Bud, where are you? There you are. Did she tell me her surname? She probably did. Yeah. I think I've forgotten it. Okay, so what is next? We're going to go and pay off our bounty if we can. Oh, Hamish. Oh, go on then. We can zigzag it. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh no! <laughs> Even the cougar was like, what the? Okay, oh no, we're not friends. I was hoping you just leave. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But in my defense, you were gonna eat me, so. Um. Oh, well done, Bard. We held it together pretty well. I thought I heard a cat noise. What? Does it just always rain around his tower or something? Should go and pop in and say hi yep. while we're here. I think we'll let us in. Oh, there's a gun symbol. Okay, just a normal gun symbol there. Professor? <gasps> oh no! Where's your creation now? Oh no! Did his creation kill him? But that was like his child! He was so happy! Invisible waves, ghost waves, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. Okay, flip. Nothing. Oh, I liked him! Why is he dead?
Oh, buddy. If I was there, I could have helped. I can take this. This is just a fancy lantern. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm walking footsteps of blood around. I just love that they have that detail in the game. That's crazy because there was no quest mark or anything. I literally just. I didn't even know I was here, I just kind of saw the building and realised where I was, so I'd pop in. But I could have just never come back, I wouldn't, there was no prompt. Inspect this note as well. Life plan. I can't, this hurts. Why would you give me his life plan now he's dead? Five years, one automaton, receive funding, win top scientist prize. In six years, two automatons, make auto automaton factory. In ten years, a hundred automatons, become very rich man. Fifteen years, automaton army take over the world. Maybe it's a good job he's dead. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I liked you. Can you not go for world domination? But, oh, hello there. I wonder if it's going to have a quest marker or if I'm just going to have to run around and try and find it. I like that it's Amazing Adventures card outside his place. It's very fitting. Um, will the lamp tell me? Does that have anything to do with it? Gosh. Yeah. I'm just so surprised I did not expect that at all. And I'm disappointed in him for trying to go for world domination. Nothing good ever comes from striving for world domination. I mean, it's daytime now, but I might try that lamp thing at night. I think it's different to the one he gave me that buzzed, but just in case that's got something to do with it, I guess. Unless I come across it beforehand in the woods somewhere. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, they like it. Okay, well, a bit anticlimactic. Let's go fishing. Get away from me now! Fuera! Take it easy there. Pinches lobos! Están por todas partes! Socorro! Help me, por favor! Mierda! No me quedan balas. Damn good shooting, señor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. You're very welcome. I guess this is now the only way that I can um Keep the camp fed. I need to donate. It let me donate the crafting table, so the um, provisions table. So I guess I need to keep on getting animals and donating the um, stuff. Back to this cavern that I have definitely never been into before. Definitely not twice. Oh, he ran aside. Do 
you go through this door. You better not be dead as well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the door's open. Amish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Very ominous. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. <laughs> right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lore I gave you? Get her out. I kept thinking how much Kieran would enjoy this. Oh, it's there. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. Tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Oh, what's this? You got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyron, I got you. I got Is his you. leg gonna make him less likely to... <laughs> if it's a really big fish. <laughs> oh, no, he's got his boss. <gasps> his ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, oh, no. Put the run away! Amos! God damn! He's bigger than I remember. Stay there! I'm rolling out to you. Real quick! Bastard just bumped me! Uh. Get you in my fish. Hey! Come on up here! You lost anything? It's just my rod. Would have gotten my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That will be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Yep, got it. I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Leave it a moment. He's fighting you. It's been a while since I fished. I've forgotten all what to do. Come on, Pikey. Play Don't nice. Let him pull you. <laughs> Don't be a rascal. Bring it in now. No. Lost him. Did I? We're gonna get this son of a bitch. Oh. I think we found him. Cast again. Okay. Oh, 
Go and reel up in. Now reel a mic quicker. Okay. Oh, Kieran would love this. But of course, my mind went to. He'd lose his head over it. Hey, hey! Hook him! Stop a second. You snap the lion, you reel when he's fighting like that. That is a ugly looking fish. Damn you! Our boat's filling with water, is that okay? And it's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You caught him! Let's row back. Do you want to talk about it? Are you okay? Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I'm me. Okay, everyone's hungry. Let's have a snack. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. Eat this, boy. So yeah. hunting next. So we've got his horse back. We've gone fishing, then to hunting. What would be next? Foraging, maybe? Oh no, it doesn't strike me as the foraging type. If I'm heading down towards Penelope and that, I suppose I could just go to Rhodes. I don't have to go over to Annisburg to pay off my stuff. Oh, actually, I could go there. Let's go there. Yeah. I can't believe Marco Dragic is dead. Oh, I wonder. I just immediately assumed it was the robot that killed him. But what if it was competition? Who knew about his creation? I can hear, I've heard that science can get pretty dark with people trying to sabotage each other and steal each other's plans and stuff. Or stop each other developing them, so be onto a murder mystery or maybe it's just a robot look at that beautiful <laughs> and then i get sidetracked by a train i did forget to check but i didn't hear one so that's probably fine um right i got told off for running in so i think it's around here Happy to assist you in a moment. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Liberty is worth every penny. I don't have one. Okay. I guess because it's just a story thing then maybe. Take care now. Ta-ta. Oh, you're playing dominoes. That's something else I've noticed we don't have in camp anymore. We don't have games. You leave something behind? All righty. So, I guess we can't get rid of that. We're wanted dead and alive regardless. That's going to complicate matters. Could Bard get tuberculosis off of me? Does it not transfer to animals? Is it like a special human disease? Because I'm pretty sure badgers can get it. 
But I think that's a different strand. I don't know if animals can get the strand that Arthur has. You guys just chilling or are you something? You got the wrong so, uh... fellow. I ain't political. If you wasn't political, you wouldn't be no federal tax collector. Oh. I ain't federal. Right, we've been here before, and this time this guy ain't dying. We'll put you in the dirt, you bastard! Help me! Of course! You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they are yours. Might just be a hero, me. <laughs> might just be, Arthur. Might just be. Good luck to you. You too. Yeah, last time I waited to hear them out and then they shot the guys, so I decided to act first, think second. Why are all the chests empty now? Is this a thing? Is that have I, have I just been unlucky or is this like a thing now? Arthur's sick, the gang are sad, so you don't get anything from the chests anymore. Oh no, there is something in there. I thought that was like, there's a tiny little flashing box and it says about hay and I thought that was like the teeniest tiniest little bit of hay. Oh my god, it's the teeniest tiniest bit of hay. What? This tiny? When they said hay, I was thinking like, big bit of hay. <laughs> that was a tiny little like condensed thing. Well, I always wondered how Arthur could fit it in his pockets, now I know. OH. Time to go, boy. Who's OH? Overdyer Hinton. Return to Butcher, Tr Butcher Creek and check in on Obadiah. Oh, I liked him. Okay. We're getting so many missions now. I'll do that on my way back up north, though. We'll carry on down to. Yep. Penelope and Bo. Oh, the Braithwaites will be happy to see me again. It'll be like an old family reunion, but with less of their family. And I want to have a really proper look around um, Clemens Point and Shady Bell and Saint Denis to try and find where everyone's buried. That's so sad where everyone's buried. That's how many people we've lost. So Sean I think will be buried somewhere around Clemens Point. Um, or Rhodes perhaps. Yeah actually maybe it's near Rhodes. Um, I think Kieran will be around Shady Bell and obviously Hosea and Lenny will be somewhere near Saint Denis I think maybe Shady Bell as well it depends if it's where they died or where we were camping at the time but I want to have a thorough look hopefully they don't get shot on sight <laughs> well there's already some angry people Hello, Penelope. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... 
or bows? Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I feel like they'd feel worse about me and her than Bo. Arthur's a lot older and like an outlaw. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. Although I guess. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But. Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> and not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family to be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be, to say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No, perhaps I don't. Uh, he is a good man, and he's lucky. You're both lucky to have each other. This could be the best day of my life, or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Hold on, it'll be clear soon enough. Yeah, I forgot that their families are like super rivals, so maybe they would prefer Arthur. <laughs> Some older outlaw than, than Bo. Agree. There he is! Oh, it's him! Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came. Oh, Bo, oh. my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. I feel so used. Hey, Alden, how's it going? Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. 
Excuse me, old. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Paul. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're gonna get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Come on, Arthur. If that is his real name, I can't. it doesn't matter. He oh, can maybe I'm using the wrong button. Oh. Arthur, come on! Hold on. I'm getting beaten up. I've forgotten how to block again. Ah, I got it. I was pressing E rather than R. Hold on, I need my hat. Also, I want to loot these people. I took his wedding ring. That'll teach you for getting in the way of love. Goodbye, Rhodes. Hello, future. <sighs> All right, all done. That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were, when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How do life? Uh. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. How big is your family? The jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over oh. the hill. All right, I'm sorry, I'm going to kill your cousins in front of you. I don't have feelings. I don't think you care much anymore. Anyway. You're doing great. Oh, they're gonna come here. Damn those brutes! Damn those brutes! It's all right. It's over. Look, is that the driver? He's oh. abandoning us. Why? Oh, Todd, all right. I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Damn it! You did run. Remind me to rob your trains, Mister.
Here we go! Fun, look at it! Bud, don't follow me along the bridges, okay? Don't you get yourself hurt. Oh, this is too much fun. Why did the train driver run off? Was it because the train was getting shot at? You go after. Another one for the bucket list. So to keep going. Okay. Just in case anyone wants to get off or on. Never mind, we'll keep going. Oh no, move dear. Whatever you are. Don't stand on the tracks. Good little dear sheep thing. Oh, what are you gonna do? Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. <laughs> they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, yeah. Uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah!
Oh. That was fun. I got to drive a train. That was unexpected, but a lot of fun. Where am I? Oh, that was unexpected. What's that? Holding camp. Why does it have a feather? Now I am intrigued. Especially after that guy was talking about it. Nowhere else has a feather. Now I want to go and check that out. So it came here before, but it wasn't. Whoa! There wasn't really anything going on. I don't think there's anything different than last time. It looks about the same. Hmm. Okay then. To Clemens Point. Country roads take me home to Clement's Point, so I'll find Sean six feet under, because he was murdered. Take me home, country roads. Singing along with me? Yeah? I think we make a good duo. I still need to find that other. How you doing, boy? Um. Easy, boy. Murder spot. I know what I'm looking for. I just need to come across it. I'm gonna go back to the murder pig farmers. That's something I've been okay meaning to do. I'll be in the area. Oh, hey, you there! Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Sure thing. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Place yeah, race bad. That horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a <laughs> fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Good Biscuit. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. 
Just an uncomfortable feel into the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. <clears throat> this was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. <sighs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Poor biscuit. What a clever boy. <laughs> Look at that room. Where are the owners? I want to go and... It sounds very suspicious. Oh, this must be them. Big fancy house. Why have they put stuff in front of the door? It's already suspicious. Can't see anyone in the windows. Howdy. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, d don't mind me. You get lost or else. You don't like visitors, huh? Fine, let's go! Uh, get, uh, no one around here is impressed uh, with that thing. Uh, 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 oh! He started it though. Oh! I actually didn't mean to do that, I was trying to pick up my hand. Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. Hello, kitty cat, though. Hey, cat. You're cute. Oh, look at you. Listen hey, to you purr. Kitty. Is this the house? It's very suspicious that they've blocked the front door and all of the other doors are locked. But I don't know for certain if these are the owners. I just assume because everything here is a hovel and then there's this. So I'm guessing these are the owners. Okay. I've figured I'm dying anyway, so why not go to the pig farmers? Hello. What's the worst that could happen? It could be poisoned, I could die. It's probably cannibal stew. I could develop some terrible disease from eating person. I already have a terrible disease, so... Let's go and pay them a visit. So good to be back. So good. I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away. What are you cooking? Well, that would be telling. I'll give you a guess, though. Want a taste? It's definitely people's stew. Newspapers. Okay. This place is a mess. You like chess? <gasps> oh, someone's not very happy. Is that their parents? I did say that the parents. 
I think it was the guy's parents didn't want them to be together. But that is a whole lot of stab marks. Oh, hold on. Straight away. Whose skeleton is that? I thought they were buried. Is that the parents? What's in this journal? I wasn't going to snoop before, but now. Even light up either. Why are there squelchy noises? Stop. Okay, there's actually nothing going on in here. Why are they keeping. I've heard of skeletons in the closet, but not in the literal sense. Maybe wonder now that that doesn't light up. What else is there? There's a hole in the wall. Is there anything? No. You just stay cooking your cannibal stew. Okay, blood stains. Nope, no blood stains. That baby's head looks out of proportion. But also, they really don't like the parent. Is this an incest couple? Does the guy have a sister or does the sister have a brother? Mm. After the Murphy brood. I'm very skeptical of everything, but why do they keep the portraits around if they hate them so much? Why not just burn them? Okay, I don't want to go snooping with them literally watching, but also how long does that stew take to cook? Because it's been like I told him he'd be back before long. It's taken like weeks. Oh, those are some old bananas. You want to make some banana bread or something? Here, open up. Let me know Guess if you came more here cream. hungry for something else. What? You can pack that right in. Not having none of that. Oh, is that the mother? That looks like the mum, but her f her eyes are intact. She is a full person, no no scratching. So why why is that different? Ma and Pa, you brought this on yourselves. It was the only way we'd all. Peace. Oh, we kept telling you, leave us alone. <laughs> Wish we uh, could have given you a proper burial, <laughs> but things ain't never perfect. Look no. who's here. Yep. Back again. Can't see. Do 
just the alphabet. Right the past down, it starts to heal. That's that's what they say. Yeah, so is that what they say? You keep writing, just focus on that letter. Okay. Are you still here? Yes, I'm staying for dinner. I don't have enough people on my diet. Come on, try one bite. It was my mother's recipe. Okay, rabbit, that's promising. I think that's a rabbit. You and vegetables. Make me a happy girl. Oh, can you stop? Just pack it in. She's not looking right up. I don't think they mind that I'm going through their things. I thought they'd get really grumpy about it. I know what you want, but now's not the time. I want to figure out what all of this is about, and this is definitely the time. What is the mysterious goo in that jar? I don't want to know. Oh, the only way really is to just eat the stew, isn't it? All right, stay and watch. That's what you like. Stop making everything sound weird. All right. Make me a cannibal as well, then. Oh, can I not? I thought you were offering me some. All right. Make sure you get it. You're oh, a fussy yeah. one, aren't you? Hold on. Oh, well. You're lost. Damn it, they've just got like seven thousand dollars. At least he didn't kill me. Do I have all my organs? Those crazy sons of bitches got some explaining to do. Oh no! I am not the first person. There are some really dead people here as well. How long have they been doing this? Can I loot anybody? Good grief. Right. I knew there was some messed up stuff going on, but... Actually, if they were cannibals, they would have eaten me, so maybe it's less messed up than I thought. Okay, I feel better. Upstairs. Son of a bitch. Search the house to recover your money. I reckon it's behind there because she said it's behind Mama. That was his mother. Or their mother. That's, that's messy. Yay. Anything else? Oh, come on, I saw the amount of bodies in there. Did I get extra? I can't remember. Well, they won't be murderizing anyone else. Oh, 
and that's it really. I do the rest. Okay, we finally <laughs> I was finally brave enough to finish the murder people. Yeah, you've got light which I think oh wait. Is that the one I got from Tragic? Yeah, it was in my machete slot and it is electric. Okay. Never mind then. What a beautiful How are you boy? Bright night. Alright, where are we? We were going to Clemens Point, weren't we? Home sweet home. Easy, easy. Oh, what times we had. Is that Hamish again? Oh, he's back. Go hunting with him at his cabin near the Craig's Run. And then Obadiah. And the mayor somewhere around there. And of course the main mission. I'm going to wait till it's daylight so it's a bit easier to see. Outside of the camp, but close by, they said. <laughs> well, not literally the camp, but they said nearby, so... I think I'm just gonna do like a, a like back and forth and keep spreading out a bit further each time. And then I'll try here and then if I don't have any luck here, I'll do the same over at Rhodes. Because Sean's gotta be buried around one of the two, I think. Hello. Why are there baddies? No, not again. Someone's coming. Stop it. Oh wait, hold on. Hey, I see you there. Can I not? Turn on your heels, son. I want to shoot you. You stick around much longer, you're going to be buried here. Okay, Go I'm going to leave because I can't did you have someone tied up again? You know what, boys? Shoot him. Gotcha. Ah, there we go. Who would have let me shoot him before? Oh, he survived. <sighs> Peace and quiet. Never a dull day in the life of Arthur Morgan. <gasps> Is that... Is that a grave? Is that Sean's? Oh, that is his grave. Hi, Sean. I can't believe Sean is buried under there. Oh, I'm so glad that those people happened to be camped there. Hi, Sean. You have a nice view. You, you got out at a better time, to be fair. Things went real downhill, real, real quickly. I wonder what you would have thought about it all. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Sean would be making the chaos worse, do you think? I think he definitely would have been up for saving John, so 
He probably would have come with us. He's always up for mischief. I don't think he would have been loyal to Dutch after a certain point. I think he would have followed Dutch, but then he'd be getting to the point where he'd be like, this is getting a bit silly. I miss you, Sean Maguire. I'm glad I found you. Apart from the whole Lemoyne Raiders thing going on there, it's a lovely spot. Oh, I'm so glad he found Sean's grave. And, and that means that the rest must exist as well. Although, if it wasn't for that Lemoyne Raider camp, that would have been a very difficult one to find, so... So was that near a road? No, road is ages away. Road is over there. So that was near Clemens Point. So he died in Rhodes, but he was buried nearer where our camp was. So by that logic, Shady Bell. Oh. I mean, Kieran got taken from Shady Bell, so I'm pretty sure he'll be around there. Let's go have a look. Oh, we found Sean's grave. Yeah. It took quite a while of going back and forth, but and and that, that wasn't even what helped me find it. So we'll see if we find Kieran's. I'm not sure we'll get lucky again and just get like a Lemoyne Raider camp right next to it. I wonder if it'll be the same kind of distance away as Sean's was from Clemens Point. Hello? <laughs> oh, this again. You, again. you had a lucky day last time. Wanna stack up? No. I'm looking for my dead friends, so. <laughs> oh, that was so good that ride back to that song. Remembered, well wanted, and they're looking up in this area. Maybe that wasn't such a smart idea. Um, let me see who it is. If it's just some Lemoyne Raiders or something. Then it's not so bad. But if they're the Pinkertons, I want to stay away. I don't want to kick the hornet's nest. Pinkertons are all fancy with their uniforms. And they won't know it's me. Definitely not Pinkertons. Someone behind the house? Dead man walking you walk. I mean Oh dude. What did you why did you Enemies 
Beating up all the bad guys. Why would they do that? It's so weird seeing like other people's tents set up here. Very colourful, but can I sleep in someone else's bed? I can. Excellent. Um, until morning. Met a one-legged man, war veteran, interesting fella. Said to come by his cabin on the other side of a Craig's run. Maybe I will. Saw that Downs kid being beaten up, so I helped him. Maybe I shouldn't have killed his poor father if I cared so goddamn much. What a conflicted fool I've become, or always have been. Then I tried to rescue his mother, who was in the process of getting herself murdered. Maybe she'd wanted that. I don't know. She looks at me like I am what I am. A killer, seeking out salvation. Only I'm not. I don't want saving. I don't deserve it. I just want to help a few folk. And sure as shit I owe her. Felt like a fount Felt like a fraud and a fool, but at least I did something. Found a fella caught in a bear trap a while back, decided on a whim to save him, then bumped into him in town. Guy gave me some store credit as thanks. Guess it sometimes pays to help folk out. I did, by the way, go to the gunsmith, and I tarted up all my guns. I found out you can do engravings and you can change the colours, and I spent about an hour doing so. <laughs> That's why I edited it out, because it was a long time, but boy do I have some pretty guns now. For some insane reason, I went out gathering debts for Strauss. Whole business revolted me. A bunch of sad, desperate bastards, and me, their worst nightmare. I'd had enough of the whole business, so I ran Strauss out of camp. Whole business of loaning revolted me. Turns out it's going to kill me too, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favour running him out of camp, but either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. sight of that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me when I die. Found a raving lunatic, completely raving. Took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Some kind of village elder, Obadiah? Maybe, appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place. Something not right at all. Sisika. Probably butchering this. Sisika Penitentiary? <laughs> From the air in our hot air balloon. With no lady vapours on board. Sadie Adler and I rescued Marston from prison, where he was awaiting hanging. Spied on them in a balloon, an event which was amazing and awful, and I thought it would kill me quicker than this illness. Later, Sadie and I rescued him, while getting shot at. I did it for Abigail, of course, in her own way, the finest woman I know, but also for Jack, and I guess Marston himself. I kind of like him. We've argued over the years, but I've grown to care for a little for him. He's less of a fool than he was, and maybe he can have the luck that has eluded me. Jack is an innocent little boy. In him, I see what I missed. We did it. Mrs. Adler and me, and then got attacked by Dutch. I went behind his back, sure, and he never likes that. But I suppose the years of blind loyalty is at an end. 
Loyal, yes, but not blind. Not until he opens his eyes as to the hell we are in, and who his friends really are. Micah I no longer trust whatsoever, nor do I trust half of them, nor myself. Whole thing is a mess, and I cannot think clearly. Did you ever trust Micah, though? Oh yeah! Do you realise he wrote it down? Went back and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. Maybe I should go back. Hello? Boop! Thank you. I've taught him to boop me on the nose when I say boop. Because you're so clever, you can learn tricks! Went to see the fella, Hamish Sinclair. He's quite a sportsman and outdoorsman. Went fishing for pike, got him in the end. Wants to take me hunting. Hamish, not the pike. And is that the pig that I saw? Maybe. Okay, we've caught up on our journal. It's beautiful daylight outside. Go find Kieran. Um, I might start about the same distance away as I found Sean. I might wander around for a bit because I've not properly checked this area. Um, I checked the old battlefield, but if I have no luck, then I'll do the thing again. This should be quite easy to see here. So Sean had a pile of rocks, so I'll look for a grave stick, cross, and some rocks. It was also buried in trees. Let's not to say they're all the same. I'm hoping finding one might make it easier to spot the others. And then when I find two, I'll be able to see if they're all quite similar or very different. Yep. The other thing is, oh, is that is that a berry or is that stuck in the mud? Oh no! Oh my gosh! So it is different if this is Sean, uh, Kieran. This is a plank of wood and just uh this Karen Karen Duffy I'm so glad nobody put a Driscoll on his gravestone. Kieran. I hope if there is an afterlife that you're with your ma or mammy and pappy and a whole load of horses and I might see you soon. This is nice. You're under the sky, surrounded by trees, lots of sunshine and flowers. This was a good spot, Rev. Oh, Karen. I wish my last interaction with you wasn't watching you sleep like a creepy weirdo. But I'm glad that your last night with us was a happy one. A drunk happy one. Rest up. I might see you again. I'm glad I found you. Come on, pal. That was much easier to find. That's out in the open. So we've still got Hosea and Lenny. But the thing is, 
We were camped at Shady Bell at the time. They died in Saint Denis, and I think Abigail said that they managed to steal their bodies from the cemetery, by which point they'd moved to Lacay. So, are they... <laughs> hey, there's me to drop in. So, are they going to be around Shady Bell, or Saint Denis, or Lacay? Because the thing is, if they're around those two, that's a, a tricky area right now, and I'm not sure what my chances of survival are. Maybe that should wait. But if it's around Shady Bell, that's kind of on the edge. So I might have a look around for a bit longer. I feel like they won't be because... I'm pretty sure we'd already moved out of Shady yep. Bell by the time they got their bodies from the cemetery. And it would have been a very hot area for the Pinkertons and I don't think they would risk burying people here when the Pinkertons are on their way. Now, if I can somewhere a little less conspicuous and wait for it to be night time so the mayor's thing shows up. Will I get a bunch of bounty hunters after me again? Because I am in an area where I'm wanted dead or alive. One way to find out. Okay, is it showing up? Hopefully, I get to the mayor's house before any of the lawmen find me. This is risky, wanted dead or alive and going straight into the capital. Lovely garden as always, Henry. What do you have in store for me this night? Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Good to see you as always, John. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. Mm. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature to convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. 
Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. Well, I'd hate to upset you, Jean, but... I think a lot of people disapprove of my behaviour, to be fair. Alright, come on, Bard. Jenga, what are you doing up there? Why are the streets so empty? It's all empty apart from Lawman. So just because there's a mission. Gonna talk to your passenger a moment. Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> the mayor is a crook. <laughs> Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear you. Ah! What was that? Ah! Please! All right! All right! There. You see? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. As you were. Come on. Oh, do you have to camp again? World's smallest house. I'll be back, fella. <laughs> Who was ever big enough to fit in there? Magnifico? <laughs> Tiny church. No, he was further north. A very small church for a very small congregation. Oh, gang savings. Do we have any? <gasps> we had so much money. Plus mine, we were up to 24,000. That's a lot of money these days, let alone back then. Oh, can I... No way I can go inside. The 
windows are nice. So, hello darling. So what, what is going on here? Why so small? Are we gonna keep booping our noses? Are we gonna keep booping our noses? It really is just a tiny church with no context whatsoever. There's a normal sized cross and a book and candles, but everything else is just teeny tiny. I'm not sure what all the green is about. It looks like vines. How strange. It's cool that I can go inside though. What, what a place to have it as well. In the middle of the bay. I might camp here. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> and that was the last I saw of Arthur. I'm just getting distracted now. Oh, did I not get a boar? I can't remember if I got a boar yet or not. Hello there, mister. Hello. 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 Are you friends? Hey, mister. You must be real lonely out here, friend. What? So, you hungry? Huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come on home. You're definitely going to murder me, but... Now come here. Oh, come on, Arthur. You should have seen that coming. Don't you hate old Sonny now. Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled. And you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> Why is everyone in Dungaree so weird? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. I've been chucked in another pit. Oh my lord. Do I have my organs? <laughs> Always my first question. He took one dollar from me. Really? I had seven thousand and he left it all. But he took one dollar. And all my cores are empty. Did he steal my organs? Is that why all my cores are empty? Time to go, boy. Oh. Every time I see a pair of graves now. <gasps> no way! Lenny Summers and Jose Matthews. Oh, I did find their graves. All got dumped next to them. Hey guys. It's been a while. A lot has happened since I last saw you. That bank robbery did not go how we planned, as you know. And Hosea... I know it's not possible, but boy could we really do with you back. Dutch is falling apart without you. And Lenny, you're just nice. We could just do with more niceness. I felt quite satisfied with where Sean and Kieran are. I feel awful for you two. Look at this. This is 
is a horrible place for you both to be buried. But the gang were in a tight pinch and they did what they could with what they had. And at least you're together. Please. You're right, Arthur. Anyway, I may need to go and see a man about my organs, so I'm going to leave you two to it. I'm glad I saw you again. And rest in peace. Right, bad. Yeah. If I find the tiny church, I'll find his house. Oh, there's the tiny church. Marvelous. Easy there. Right, was that house over there? Oh, hey again, friend. Not you again. Oh, you're not as friendly this time, are you? Why? Why did you take my dollar and uh, one dollar and dump me? Well, would you look at this? Oh Lord, no! You're a sad case. Why is this happening? <laughs> Why do you have a skull on the side? Why are you doing this? Oh, you a creepy doll. Are you keeping skeletons in the closet as well? Is that a thing? Oh no. Soap. Nice. Sulfur soap. That probably doesn't smell good. Someone help me! No, don't! What? I'll at least try and take a dollar's worth of stuff. Don't be like this! Ooh, cigarette card. Excellent. Yarrow. Someone help me! For crap! I mean, you didn't kill me. Bad day for you, mister. Shit! I don't want you near me! What happened? Tied up by a new friend? Best day ever! <laughs> I hate you! Get lost! I'm getting such mixed messages. Stay away from me! Oh, okay. I think I've taken a dollar's worth of stuff. You I left hate you! Get lost! You left me in a difficult situation, so consider the favour returned. But Stay you're away from me! You're safe in here, so... You'll figure it out eventually. I, hate you. Get lost. I can't tell if we're friends or not friends. He's like, you're my new best friend. I hate you. Go away. Okay. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Yeah, you tell him that. Though. Do you think he goes to the tiny church? Yep. Oh, I'm so glad I found yep. it. I of all of like, I I had no idea what they would be, or like, they there were so many places they could be, I didn't even know where to start looking, and just by chance, I just got dumped right next to their graves. Which now you think about it, it's kind of what happened with um with Sean's as well. I just uh came across the Lemoyne Raiders, so I've I've been very lucky with my grave hunting. Endeavors. Oh, there's someone using the older 
This is fancy. A case of the shrew in the fog. It's not a letter though. Is that a deer? Oh, it's like my buddy. I want to take the deer statue. He's like my friend that I see in my dreams. Wasn't expecting that. Oh dear. What the hell is this all about? Am I hidden? I don't know. Why can't I? Keeps not letting me be able to Damn shoot it. people. Oh, that sheriff at? You out of your damn mind? Through, you fool. Oh gosh, this is a murder chain again. We've been here before. Okay, so let's let's not go into their house. They don't like visitors. Yeah. Okay, let's wait for night time. It's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? 
Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. I know when I'm being played. Oh, tracking animals, farming. To be honest, me as Jody would quite like this book. <laughs> the way for now though. Okay. This fine rainy day, let's go by and find Jean Marc. want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <sighs> we didn't know you were gonna talk. Have a look at what we're dealing with. Ooh. Oh, that already counts, doesn't it? I thought I'd make it just before he saw. Front? Are you sure? Gosh, I had to go around the back. The dead body, that's fine. Quick, Mr. Rather, bring him around the back. Oh, he's not dead, is he? Unconscious body. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, Jean-Marc. Here. <coughs> my brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, well, this silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Oh, within reason, yes. Yes, yes. 
Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill? It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? No. Mm -hmm. It's all a lot But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out about of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lumiere's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Just let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but... I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. And don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. I've got a lot of respect for you, Jean-Marc. Less for you, Mr. Mayor. All right, another mission done. Now I say we go and do something big. Let's go. There is Obadiah, but I say let's go and do Micah's mission. Oh, Micah. Bane of my life, Micah. I watched a bit of my very first episode recently. And literally straight away, I was like, I'm going to remember you as mean Micah. And he just gets meaner. I love that I'm wanted dead or, al or alive and everyone's just letting me hang out in the capital city. No problem. Oh, a question mark. Hello again. Hey, Mr. Hello, sister. Uh, hold it on. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. <laughs> Are you sure? Nope. Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. Oh, <laughs> what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so... We must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. <laughs> Money for the poor? 
Uh, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. <laughs> exactly. Yeah! <laughs> Can I do Consider your well? good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Mm. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. Goodbye, then. I have already taken up far too much of your time. Oh, she's Good so boy. lovely. Boy. I was going to donate food as well. I've got so much of both that I, I'm not going to need for much longer. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted by the question mark, but we will go and do Mean Micah's mission. Alliteration right there. And let's just get out of Saint Denis because yeah. morning to you, sir. That was a good Good morning, sorry, that was a Don't you have anything else to do? I'm trying to move around people. Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Oh. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. Way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> You two are like twins now. What is this? And also, last time it was just a social call, we drowned Bronte in a swamp. So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't bribe, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Oh my Neither gosh. That's filthy. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone.
Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. I didn't have much faith in any plan that Mike has had a hand in, but... Arthur, get behind something before you're spotted. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. Hold <laughs> me. I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Oh, that's the noise right there. You screwed it! Oh, oh. Oh, shit! Ah. Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dutch? Is it surprised the Pinkertons have showed up after all that? Oh wait, are all those bad guys? Oh! I'm sorry, I think they were just normal workers. I've got to stop killing good people by accident. Oh, Mr. Dutch, what are you doing? This isn't our code. This seemed like a very mica plan. I found something interesting. Come on, we gotta move. Oh. Get a move on, Arthur! Stay with me, Arthur! I know, I fell down the stairs. It's embarrassing Arthur, enough as it is. Arthur, come on! Cornwall's men are all over the place! 
Follow me and stay. Well, are you surprised? We had enough feet on us before. Now we're gonna be torched, Judge! This is the only way! You'll see! Trust me! Trust you! You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut, Shut up. the hell up! Friendly fire off. Here come more! Take them down! You're slowing us down, Morgan! Come on! Excuse me, I'm pretty sure I've killed more people than you. Saved you your ass back this then. This wasn't a revenge mission! It wasn't! We got what we came for! Those papers! This way! Come on! To this. Me? I just follow orders, Morgan. Let's go! Let's go! More up top here! Gun them down! And let's get the hell out of this place! Shoot that oil wagon! Oh, ah. Hold on. That's the oil wagon? Oh. Take the horses from that coach! Let's go! Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, you've lost your minds. Oh, I've felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us all! Go right! Look out! We got more ahead! I'm skeptical Cornwall's dead. I didn't... He got shot in the chest. Which, in films and games, I've On seen people left. survive. Oh, Die, we just saw him get shot. And if he's lived, he is gonna be so angry now. Lose him through the river. Look out, fellas! They're still coming. The bastards! Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah! You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Mm -hmm. Figure out what? 
The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh. I feel like Micah is poisoning him. I feel like Dutch has gone through loads. Hosea, his like chill pill, has died. Micah, who's just toxic, has stepped on in where Hosea was. And yeah, Dutch isn't in his best mind. <sighs> what a load of stress. What's this? Rev? Rev has a mission? Oh, and there's me and Micah. And yeah, I... Maybe Cornwall is dead. He did get shot in the chest. Dutch is a good gunman and I'm sure he knows where to hit people in the vitals but also I don't know there was just a red smear roughly around all of this area and wouldn't it just be our luck if he survived with vengeance I want it confirmed that he's dead I feel uneasy until then Hello. Hi, Sadie. Hey, Arthur. You seen Mike in Dutch's ear the whole time? Yeah. He's been stirring up stuff about you and John. Oh, don't worry. I can still get through to Dutch. Okay, Arthur. Can we, though? Can we? Hey, Abigail. Hey, Abigail. I don't like this, Arthur. No place like home, huh? What are we gonna do about all this, Arthur? Just hang in there. We'll work something out. I guess. You right? <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea. Dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Oh, you go fly. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. 
But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. Hmm. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us without adding an army Going to the list. these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. What? Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite? The railroad contract with the army? It was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. You keep killing people, Dutch. Not necessarily shooting There's people. Peter. As needs shooting. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. We can set out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck.
try not to kill anyone, Orth. <laughs> so inconspicuous. Oh, try not to kill, subdue. Yes. Where I was lecturing about killing. I need to smoke. Oh! No, not again. I ain't had a sniff of a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Just a deal, will ya? for a ride here. I say I'm sorry, fellas, but I've been lying. <laughs> Don't know what I'm gonna tell my wife. Sorry, darling, no food this month. <laughs> that cheating bastard Pennington robbed it all. Send her over to me, I got lots of money. <laughs> now that's just plain rude. <laughs> oh, maybe we're just gonna have to go for it and... What the hell? Take it back, let's all! We can't let that last one get away! Please don't, I'm dying in my own way. Or you go find out about those horses down there you below. Go. Arthur, deal with that anchor. Oh, well, this is a contraption. Plant dynamite. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. How are we getting the horses back? Come on, Arthur. Sorry, just moving the anchor first. <laughs> ah, is he sailing the back? Seem to be going pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Hold on. I've already been in one shipwreck. I don't want another. What is wrong with you? The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked. And we're taking on water. Boss, get him out of here! Oh, oh. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Let's move. Over here, come on. And are you just gonna follow me, or...? Are we still swimming? Oh no! Oh, oh thank goodness. Have some hay. You're okay. Oh. oh, and you. Look at you, poor thing. Oh, I'll, I'll feed you later. He looks so sad. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. 
I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Well, that's unsettling. Oh, look, we're spoilt for gold missions now. Yep. <laughs> We've got me and Micah. Sadie? Sadie needs to speak to you. Goodbye, dear friend. Um. Oh. Every time. And up here. Rain's fall. Archaeology for beginners. You agreed with Charles that you would speak to Rainsfall. I think it's a good idea because Eagle Flies is understandably very angry, but Dutch is egging him on. I'm not too sure I trust Ju Dutch's judgment right now because Micah is behind it. So I don't want Micah poisoning Dutch and then Rain's Fall as well. Um, no, Eagle Flies, sorry. Rain's Fall, though, is chill and wise, so I, I feel like it'd be good for him to get involved. Oh, Charlotte's back. Oh my goodness, look at all these missions. So we have one, two, three gold missions and Obadiah and Charlotte there. Gosh, that's loads. Let's go back to camp first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dutch went and killed Cornwall and Annisburg. This will be bad, John. Shit. Yeah. I'm worried he's coming unstuck. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. All right then, Arthur. Has anyone seen Kane? How you doing? Where's Been thinking Kane? more about Dutch and Eagle Flies. It can only end badly. No, so sorry, there's only so I'm much sure we can do up, about it. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Where's Kane? Kane! Kane! I'm sure he'll turn up. He's been gone a while. Well, he'll be back when he's hungry. He it. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. That's yeah, what. Sure. That's what everyone said about Kieran, and then he came back headless. She told us she was in love. She would have said anything. Who knows what she did or didn't do? What do you think, Arthur? If she betrayed us, if she really did, well, it's a bad business either way. But I'm confused like both of you. She had to go. It's bad, but... Dilly, I do believe you got a cold heart. Now you know that ain't true. 
Of course it ain't, but I'm scared. Me too. Me too. Hi, Arthur. I don't know what to tell you, Mary Beth. Things are tense right now. So, how do we fix this? Uh, I ain't sure. Uh, really ain't. We'll work something out. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right. I just don't think Molly could have told him that much. If she told them where we are, that's enough. True. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Sure. Hey, Karen. Here we are, Arthur. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? I'm only concern. Whatever you say. I don't think she could have told them where we are because she left before we got here. And the only reason she Martha. came here was because someone Thank found you. her drunk. Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Aww. Abigail. Well, try to keep your head straight. Yeah, all right. That's so sweet. Oh, I'm worried about Kane. Hi, Charles. Hey there. Thanks for sticking with us. Of course. Well, hang in. All right, Arthur. I do like Charles. Hi, Arthur. Uh, Uncle. You know. You might want to think about getting out of here soon. No, I'll be with you boys till the end. Just don't leave it too late. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Choice, man. I made no choices. That was uncalled for. Oi! Sassy pants. He's changed. Should have let him die and warm him. Little sack of shit. Oh no, that's a bit harsh. He's just very loyal, blindly so. Yeah. Hello, Abia. Are you what are you just looking at, Charles? Just doing circles. What was that all about? You're just as bad. What happened to loyalty? Yeah. How you doing? What did? How do you think? Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. I respect how loyal he is. I think it's foolish. Seems he's picked his side. Other sides now? Seems that way. That's exactly it. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Mm-hmm. We're not like picking sides, we're just taking everything as we see it. He's like us or them. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well on the other hand. Yes, uh, I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Well, if you learned from them, it wasn't a waste. 
Hello, Pearson. Hi, Pearson. Oh, hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? Not so good. What are we gonna do, Mr. Morgan? Just hang in there, okay? We'll just soldier on, I guess. Mrs. Grimshaw? I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Yes, Arthur. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's definitely no chores to do. That wasn't a one-off. No chores, no money box, everything in the red. No ledger. That. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm worried. I know. Susan Gr <gasps> No. Susan Grimshaw. Susan. That's Mrs. Grimshaw. Are you kidding? Good gracious, Mrs. Grimshaw. How did you end up here? Look at you, pretty, with your fan and your fine dress and beautiful curtains and stuff. Whatever happened? You were blonde. And now you're not. I have questions. And with that, we will call it a day. What a day it has been. I am still shocked I found Marco Dragic dead. Didn't expect that, wasn't prepared for it. It was a really cool twist though. I love that there was no mission or anything. Like I could have just carried on in the game and I, I thought I'd keep meeting him and each time he would have got a bit further. I probably would have just thought, oh, I guess he's just still working on it until the end of the game. I may never have come across it unless it pops up as a quest later on. Um, I thought the lantern might do something different um, or I'd bump into his missing robot. Um, maybe that's a mission later on down the line, but I, I might pop back and just double check to see if I can't find any other clues another time. Um, yeah, that was interesting. It was great helping Penelope and Bo. I do really feel for them. They've come from some very prestigious, very harsh, very stuck in their ways families. Um, and literally the only reason, they're, they're even of the same level of like status and reputation, the only reason they're not allowed to be together is just because their families have had a big tiff. So yeah, killed a bunch of people in the name of love. <laughs> Got them, uh, did they go to New York? I can't remember. Um, yes, so that was fun. Um, then of course we found the graves. We found all of the graves as well. I, I was hoping to at least find one, ideally two, um, but I didn't know how easy they'd be to find. I didn't even know if I'd find them. I didn't know where on earth Lenny's and Hosea's were. Um, so yeah, just by chance, uh, really, I found Sean's because I happened to uh, find that Lemoyne Raider camp right next to it. Found Kieran's pretty easy. And again, by total chance, found Hosea and Lenny, so I really lucked out <laughs> with the game putting me in the exact right spot. Um, I think the only reason I found Kieran's was just because it was really obvious out in the open. Um, it was nice to see them again and to 
I don't know, just... The last time I saw any of them was always in a really horrible situation. Um, you know, like Sean just sprawled out in the middle of the street and roads. Um, Kieran, literally in pieces, just dumped on the floor outside Shady Bell. Hosea just in the street, face down in the dirt. Um, and then Lenny on that rooftop and we didn't even get to stop and like really acknowledge the fact that he died because we all had to keep moving. So I don't know, it just, it was nice having the closure, I think, of seeing them buried and a more peaceful kind of close to seeing them um, rather than just in the middle of all of the adrenaline or in just some horrible state. It was nice to see them put to rest um, respectfully and yeah, nice and peaceful, beautiful areas apart from the swamps. Um, so yeah, that was really fun. I didn't expect to find those graves. We finally got to the end of the Aberdeen Pig Farmers, which probably most people would have just done in one go, but they really kept creeping me out, so I kept leaving and coming back. Um, I'm still not 100% sure. Like, are they an ancestral couple? Or... Like, was it both of their mums and dads? Or just one of them? Because I don't see why else the parents would have had an issue with their them being together, which has seemed to be the issue. Um, and also in that family photograph, the two kids did look... There was a resemblance. Um, yeah, I don't know. There was just a whole lot of... There was just a whole lot. I don't know. Not surprised the stew poisoned me. I was waiting for it since the first time I went there. <laughs> Um, yeah, can't believe they dumped me in a pit full of loads of dead bodies. They've obviously been doing this for a while, but they won't do it anymore because they're dead now. We did a couple of the mayor's missions. I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. I wonder if we'll find the mayor dead at some point. But I'm definitely rooting for Jean-Marc. Jean-Marc? Is that his name? For him more than the mayor. Oh, we went to see Charlotte as well, right at the top of the, the episode, didn't we? And we're going to go see her again at some point. Yeah, that was really sweet. I'm glad she's doing well. She looked healthy. She was going out hunting, so... Yeah. And she looked after me, which was really sweet. When Arthur got sick. It makes me... I mean, I noticed last time that when I stand, like Arthur's often like doing this like breathing, shrugging shoulders thing. But yeah, I've noticed as well when he eats a lot, he um, or just when he eats, he often coughs loads and oh, it just makes me sad. He seems to have come to terms with it quite well, which is reassuring. It makes me feel better. I like that he's doing so many good deeds now or has the option to do good deeds. So yeah, we'll see where it goes but he's already a good man even though he keeps saying he's not and I think when he dies I think he'll die a good man speaking of good men or not as the case may be that leads me to the main missions which we did last um hmm even Mike is seeming a bit crazy and I'm not sure if he always was probably always was I don't know, like, I never liked him, but he always seemed to have his head screwed on straight, he just seemed like a very cold, cynical person, like, saw things in very black and white, survival of the fittest, um, in that kind of way, but he always seemed sane, he just seemed, yeah, just cold, but I don't know, recently it's like, He's just gone, like, sneery and, like, hyperactive and, I don't know, he's just doing things that I'm like, are you okay? I don't know. I'm questioning Mike's sanity, honestly. Um, I feel like he's taking advantage of Dutch's mental state right now. I don't think Dutch is crazy. I know people keep saying it. I don't think he's actually crazy. I think he's just very impressionable right now he's again he's going through a lot of stress and a lot of grieving um he's got a lot of pressure on him and i think he's kind of going for broke i think he needs a way to get us safe he's obviously being fed a lot of 
misinformation or a lot of um, sort of toxic assumptions from Micah. Um, and just I think he's just paranoid himself. I don't think he necessarily needs Micah's help for that. I don't think he's crazy. I don't think he's lost his mind um, or there's actually anything neurologically wrong with him right now. I think it's just mental health, real, real low. Um, and he's just becoming very impulsive, very reckless. Um, like I said before, I think not having Hosea, um, either having lost or the fact that he's doubting and pushing away the people who would sort of temper that impulsive attitude. Um, so all he's left with is other people who are also like, yeah, just take that leap, just do that extreme thing. Just see what happens, just go for it. Um, which obviously high stakes it could totally work out fine but also it could make things way worse than if we just try to play our cards right nice and carefully so I don't like where it's going I don't think we're against him um, it seems to be a group of you're with us or against us and they're all clustering around Dutch and the, none of the rest of us so there's a lot of people who are questioning his sanity but no one's saying I hate Dutch, we should take him down. <laughs> we should betray him. Everyone else is just like, you know, we're still here and we're still willing to fight for our group and follow Dutch, but also not blindly. So it's not a with Dutch or against Dutch, like some of them seem to think. It's just with Dutch blindly loyal or sensible. So yeah, next time we've got so many missions to do. We've got a few whites, we can go and see Charlotte. I want to go back to Marco Dragic's tower. Maybe I'll find something, maybe I won't. <laughs> oh hey! Yes, so we've, we're have we going to go see Obadiah. And then we've got those um, three gold missions, uh, which was Sadie in Sandini meeting up with Micah for this next step and going to speak to Rain's Falls. I just feel the cats launching themselves at my chair. I'm worried for eagle flies. I really appreciate him being so protective of his people. I hate that all this is being done to them and I don't necessarily think sitting back and letting everybody snatch stuff away from them is the right call but I also don't think like trying to like butt them head on is a great idea especially not the army so yeah I don't think we should be encouraging full out war with the army and just using the poor Native Americans as like our pawns basically because that's what it feels like it feels like Dutch is just using them to create the perfect storm for us to disappear but what of them what if they all get mowed, mowed down and killed just so the handful of us can get away? That's just a bit of a jerk move. So I'm hoping Rain's Fall will put a stop to it. I like Eagle Flies and I don't think he's a bad guy. But I feel like Dutch is... manipulating him. For our own gain. Um, and I want us to get away safe, but I don't want to do it at the cost of the Wapiti tribe and their people so we'll see next Sunday when we're back for more Red Dead Redemption 2 so yeah thank you for joining me and sticking with me on this crazy crazy ride I'm so invested in this game now so invested I'm sure it will carry on being as amazing as it's already being and uh, probably getting crazier and crazier as it seems to be doing as well Thank you so much for sticking with me for this playthrough. I can't believe we've done this many episodes so far. Can't believe my cats keep jumping on my chair. <laughs> they keep trying to, there's, there's like these holes in the back and he keeps trying to like grab my hand through it. That's why they're jumping up. Because they keep grabbing my like hair and <laughs> my top through, through the gaps. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been fun. It will continue to be fun next time. I will see you then next Sunday for more Red Dead Redemption 2. Until then, take care, outlaws. Outlaws for life. See you next week. Bye.
拜拜。